Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Nikki and in today's video we are going to jump right into this pantry. So as usual we are going to start out with the cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of this pantry and put it on my dining room table so that we can sort it and declutter it. I already took the floor out of this room about a month ago. We are going to replace that with the same vinyl plank flooring that we've been doing throughout the rest of the house. Do y'all remember the old school pencil sharpeners from school? One actually came with my house, which was hilarious to me. Now it didn't make it into the new pantry once I redid it, but I actually did keep that pencil sharpener. So now we're gonna remove all of the shelving so that we can actually clean the walls and paint. Happy dance, everything's out. Now it's time to fill the holes and get everything prepped for painting. Everything's filled. These brown spots that you're seeing on the door jam is actually brown wood filler because there were holes there too from where they screwed the shelves into the door. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything sanded and nice and smooth so that we can start painting. And the paint color that I'm using is the same paint color from the Laundry Room Makeover. It is Silver Bullet by Bear.
amazing what a coat of paint can actually do to transform a room. This room looks so much cleaner to me already just off of changing the paint color. I'm also painting the ceiling as well. Just like with the rest of the house, this is New House White by Bear. Look at the difference from the old paint color versus the new paint color. That is crazy. So I am still in the pantry working. The next thing that I'm going to do, well hopefully I can finish up tonight in here, is painting. I have this door trim to paint. I have the baseboards and quarter round left to paint as well. And then I want to paint the shelf behind me white. And then also all of the brown that you see on the shelf will be wallpaper that I'm going to put there. And I'm going to paint that white as well. So. Come on y'all, we're not done yet. We're almost there, but we've got a little bit more to do before we can actually get to the fun part, which is decorating. So, come on.
this shelving unit was actually screwed into the studs just to give it more stability. And I'm just going in and caulking everything just so that it'll have a more seamless custom look. After I did paint the shelves, I did go in with two layers of polyurethane. And now I'm taking the same wallpaper that I put up in the laundry room makeover. I will link that video down below if you have not seen it so that you guys can check that out. But this is the same wallpaper that I did purchase from Amazon. I'm going to take that and put it up on that back wall of the shelf. So this is probably the most tedious, difficult part for me. I'm going to try and take my wallpaper and shimmy it up through the back of my bookshelf and put it on that way. So we shall see how this goes. Y'all pray for me. from the very beginning which was just measure the distance from top to bottom cut my little piece and stick it up there
once I have the wallpaper up and everything caulked and it's dry, I am going back in with that same New House white paint and we're going to paint the wallpaper because it is paintable wallpaper. All of the storage containers that you see here, I did purchase from either Amazon or Home Goods. This gray thing right here is a rice dispenser, and that was also purchased from Amazon. This is everything that came out of my pantry and now we're going to go through it get rid of anything that is old and make us a little keep pile for stuff that we want to keep This little bit of stuff right here is everything that I'm going to keep as far as food from the pantry until our grocery pickup tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and start organizing tonight. So all we have to do tomorrow is put things away. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put these two baskets that I have. I got these from Kroger actually. I'm going to put these on the bottom shelf so this will house any extra food that I may have or any large items that are too big for the other four shelves. So let's go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my can openers, not can openers, can holders on the shelf. Um, you can also use these to hold sodas. Although my family does not drink sodas like that, so on the rare event that we do have a soda, it will probably be a root beer, but you will not see sodas in my house like that. I think I'm going to put these here. I have four of these. So I have the can holders in the baskets down here. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. I'm probably going to stop talking until I figure out exactly what it is that I want to do. So y'all just listen to the music, follow along with me, give me some help y'all because I don't know what I want to do. I'm just trying to figure everything out. Now I'm putting together this um, pantry door shelf that I purchased from Amazon. I actually love this little thing. It provided so much additional storage for my small pantry. So if you guys have a small pantry, I would recommend this little um, pantry organizer here. You can either 
hang it across the top of your door and it also comes with screws so if you wanted to actually screw it into the door you can do that as well which is what I ended up doing. And this is what it looks like if you decide to hang it on the outside of the door or inside. Okay y'all, so I thought I was done with painting until I started actually decorating and filling my shelves up and then I noticed this. I forgot to paint the... some contact paper that I had and I'm just going over the electrical box with it just to kind of disguise that gray a little bit more.
And those two brackets that are actually holding this shelf up are actually going to be inside of the wood. I just have to get the right drill bit so that I can drill it. And here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wanna thank you all for watching another one of my videos. Please make sure that you do like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. And hit that notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I post a video. We are finally, finally done with this pantry. It feels like it took forever, but we have reached the finish line, y'all. I am so, so happy with the final results. I am in love with this pantry. This is probably my favorite room in the house. I know I say that after every makeover that I do, but literally, y'all, I am so happy with the way that this pantry turned out. It is absolutely beautiful to me. It is organized. It is colorful. It was the tiniest little space and it was so hard to do as far as painting and maneuvering in here with this camera, but I did it. My pantry is bad and bougie. My pantry is bad.